Hi there, my name is Vic Veer. I'm an ET consultant surgeon working for the National Health Service in England. And today I want to tell you about two devices which have been brought to my attention which help people clean out wax from your ear. The first is a product called Bee Bird. The second one is Viticoco. I'm not sure why they call those names. But they look a little bit like this. I'll give you some close-ups as well so you can see this better. And these are based on the same principle. They are Wi-Fi connected videos. The idea is that you put these into your ear and you can see around and if you can see some wax, the little paddle here at the end, you can use to scrape out. So what I'm going to do in this video is to review both of these and tell you the pros and cons of each. So this is the Viticoco. What I found was when I used this one, uh, without the paddle at the end which is meant to clean out the wax and just use it as a visual tool to look inside your ear it worked quite well. So here is me looking inside my own ear and in the background you can see the ear canal skin which is quite red here it's not quite as red as that in real life so it seems the vibrant setting is a little bit high on this video camera. In the distance you can see the ear drum and there you can see the malleus and very faintly in the background you can see the incus and stapes. Overall I would say that the quality of this image is far better than what I expected with such a cheap device. Installing these devices are quite quick and all you have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi on your phone to the same Wi-Fi that this gives out. Once you're connected, you get a screen view of this end. So you might be able to see my eardrum there. It's not a bad picture. Now I can't get that picture when the paddle's on it. I just simply can't get it into my ear. So this time I'm using the video camera with the paddle attached. And because this paddle increased the overall diameter of this device, I found it very difficult to insert within my ear. I also found touching the ear canal skin with the paddle very, very painful. And I was worried that I might tear the skin of my ear canal, which can lead to infections. When I used this alternative attachment to the video camera, I found this almost impossible to insert into my ear. I guess if you had a larger ear canal, this should be a lot easier. But to be honest, people with large ear canals generally don't get that much wax. If you are going to use this, I think I'd use these very, very slowly and take your time. It does take a bit of time to get used to navigating your ear canal without damaging anything. And I think it'd be very hard for someone else to do it because you wouldn't feel where it's hurting your ear and you end up jumping like this if someone else was doing it to you. Because when you're looking down, you can only see from the end here, you can't see that sharp edge. Whereas when a surgeon or an audiologist or something like that is looking into your ear, you can see all the way around, you can see the probe going in. And you know that you're not accidentally scratching the sensitive skin on the inside, causing the infection later on. Included with the Vicoco camera, you have this collection of instruments to also remove the wax within your ears. I'm afraid to say they looked incredibly dangerous. I personally wouldn't use these even under general anaesthetic conditions. So now on to the Bee Bird device. Essentially this is almost identical to the Vic Coco device. It has the same paddle and video camera, on switch and USB charger. Although I should mention that the branding seems slightly more elegant. And personally I found that the app was easier to navigate and understand. So what I've done is I've connected to the app here. Um, and I'm looking into my ear at the same time. And to be honest... I really find it very hard to see anything. I can't see the eardrum, so I don't really know how deep I'm going in. I finally managed to get within the ear canal, and you can see here that the colour looks a little bit grey compared to the other video, and the whole thing looks slightly duller than the other video, and this is probably because the light is reflecting off the paddle. I finally found some wax within my right ear, but as you can see, I found it extremely difficult to try and remove this wax from my ear canal. I just couldn't get the angle right so I could see where the wax was and also pull it out at the same time. I had very little wax in my ear. It's not going to block my hearing in any way. And I still found it very hard to take those little flakes out. If your ear was completely bunged up with wax, all you'll be really doing is pushing it back in and making it harder for when you eventually do need to take it out. Because I can't see how this can actually get round it without you causing damage to the eardrum or something like that. So I think in conclusion, these are quite fun devices, but in terms of medical devices and a way to heal yourself or clean out your own wax or whatever, I don't think it's particularly safe. What I've done is left some links in the description if you'd like to look at that. And if you've had a good result with this and you can show me the video, I'll try and post it on my YouTube channel for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful.